Hello, how are things? How was your evening? My evening is just kicking off, just heading out of work. Thought I'd give you a quick update on channel things and life things. And so last time I was talking to you, I was talking to you about a motorbicycling holiday I was going to go on. And anyone who follows um, on two wheels of Grainbow, who I was going to go on that holiday with, with uh, a couple of other chaps. I did go, I went on the holiday. Um, it didn't last a full week because a uh, couple of factors. Uh, Graham's bike shit itself in a uh, not very spectacular fashion, to be honest. And uh, by that point, we kind of knew the weather was going to turn and there would have only been two of us left. and. It was only over the way, so we said fuck it, we'd call it. Uh, but we got a couple of days in. I uh, stuck up a video of one of the first days and we went over to Healy Pass and met up with another moto vlogger down there. So it wasn't a complete wash, it was a, actually a savage couple of days. We found a, a nice little place to camp and it was eight quid a night, which for July on the Ring of Kerry is not bad going. But uh, yeah, I spent the rest of the week sort of ha hanging about and uh, doing a few things on the house. Those of you who follow the uh, channel will know I'm in the middle of renovating, or I'm towards the end of renovating a big old house. And uh, the only part of that that y'all give a shit about, or, or that you're going to see for that matter, is what I'm going to call uh, Grumpy Shed Mark 2. For those channel followers, Grumpy Shed Mark 1 was uh, a fairly impressive barn type thing out in the middle of nowhere and uh, while I loved it to bits for its own sake it was too far away so Grumpy Shed Mark 2 I'm afraid is uh, not not a patch on that it's a fairly standard uh, Dublin sized garage on a semi detached so it's what I what I lose in um, size I make f up for inconvenience and so it's only the last little while I've actually gotten into it you know the builders have been busy tearing the place apart and building it again so I'm sure there'll be a couple of videos in uh, getting the floor redone and getting uh, whatever organized tool organizing stuff is gonna go in there I am so excited about organizing things in that garage holy shit you wouldn't even believe it anyway more on that on uh, in um, I want to say about a month when we're in and uh, I can do garage things in my very own garage once again. And the other thing you can see in the last couple and maybe the next couple of videos is I've been out test riding a few bikes. Uh, Graham, when he came back from his holiday, got pissed off enough with his bike that uh, he said, fuck it, he's going to change it for sort of a touring bike so we can do more tours and camping and the whole devil and all. He's uh, only really ever been on sport sports bikes and so it's a whole new world for him. A whole new world of, you know, being able to look over your shoulder and not having arthritis and the whole job. We both rode the KTM 1290 Adventure and the Tiger 1200, the new Tiger 1200. He went and rode a GSA then. I didn't bother with the GSA because, like, I've had a GS before and now what's up. The jury's kind of out. I t uh, I'll let Graham give you his, um, his sort of appraisal of the bikes, as it were. Uh, me, myself, I actually, I rode all those bikes and uh, I got to the end of riding all of those bikes and I sort of said, you know what, I like my bike. It's something I realised that uh, when you're going out and uh, test riding bikes and seeing if you want to change, one of the options you have open to you is to not change. And so I think I'm going to leave it for a year or so at least. There's nothing that really jumps out at me bike-wise that I would like. I really like the look of the Tiger 1200, holy shit. Really nice looking bike, especially the XRT um, spec, but I just didn't like riding it as much as this one. Anyway, future video spoilers for past video spoilers. I don't know what order they're going up in. And so I'm going to get in the garage and, uh, and see how things go. I'm not going to, whether I get a, a second bike or whether I change this one I don't I don't think I'm mad to change this one I have it set up the way I like it it's nice you can tour it 
you know, if anything, I went, if we're getting a second bike, it'll be a little, a little city bike for that sort of thing. But I'm not mad pushed to do it, so we'll see. Dirk, okay. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, talking to you bastards. I missed my turn. You did this. You did this, internet. It's all down to you.